Victor Ponta, former Prime Minister of Romania, who joins us now. Mr Ponta, just tell me first of all, how is your country being affected by what's going on in Ukraine? It was an, earth, an earthquake because, uh, of course, the aggression of Russia was, for us, for the public, unexpected. Maybe only the smartest people in the world, they, they foreseen it. Then we, we had uh, waves of refugees. We did our part to try to help Ukraine to do, fulfill our, uh, our duties as NATO members. But then it came also the, the invoice for this, which is the uh, energy crisis, the energy prices, inflation. Um, I would say that Europe has done a good part together with the United States to help Ukraine to resist and, in my opinion, also to win the war. But also Ukraine, uh, Europe failed in, uh, in finding solution for the, for the economic uh, uh, issues. And uh, even now, I'm still unhappy with Europe just helping Ukraine and pushing for the war and not trying to find solution for negotiation, for peace. I see Turkey, Turkey uh, do, doing this. I see uh, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and I think Europe should, uh, should be smarter to, be, to, to prove more leadership in finding solutions, not only to support Ukraine. So, supporting Ukraine is something normal and legitimate, but we should be more uh, smart, smarter in finding solution to end the invasion and to end the economic crisis. What would end this conflict from a Romanian perspective? What sort of solution do you think is on the table? I think to bring the two parts on the table is the most important uh, part. Otherwise, it cannot be Romania imposing Ukraine or Russia to do something, but just bringing the two sides, like it happened in Istanbul, I think it would be a crucial step. Because otherwise, no one sees the end of this war. I'm sure Ukrainian people and uh, Russian normal people are paying the highest price. European citizens, like Romanians, they are getting tired with paying uh, the price, the economic price of this. And uh, some other uh, countries are just uh, smarter than Europe and taking uh, advantage. I think whoever is able to bring the two sides at the same table and find uh, a solution for peace will be the real savior of, uh, of the world. Would you support uh, some sort of deal involving Russia keeping, for example, Crimea or parts of the Donbass? That's only Ukraine to say that. We cannot say, I mean, as Romanian, give some parts of your territory. Uh, we did our part of the job, us, Turkey, uh, Poland, because we are at the border with Russia. We paid a big price. Um, I think. Ukrainians knows better than us, but in the same time we can we can show them that we are supporting them whatever they decide. If we just say no, no, go fight, go fight, uh, we will give you weapons uh, and money, it's it is not enough. We should assure them that we will we will be there and we will help economically to rebuild Ukraine, because uh, wise people have to think about the day after the war and uh, rebuilding, rebuilding Ukraine, rebuilding the Eastern Europe will be a huge, huge, gigantic task. And the day after the war includes rebuilding a relationship with whatever Russia is going to exist after this conflict. Is that something that's being considered in your country? What sort of Russia will emerge? Of course, we are so close uh, to Russia and in our history, they have visited us too many times. So, uh, but now we also fear feel safer because US has involved much more than ever in Eastern Europe. NATO is there. Uh, I think Russia proved that they are unable military to, to defeat Ukraine and this is a good thing for all of us. Uh, so military I feel much safer. Economically I feel, I feel unhappy and uh, in the end I think the war is always a failure of uh, political leadership because good political leadership always finds a way to avoid war. When we get to war, it means it's a, it's a share guilty, not just saying Putin uh, is to be blamed. It's, a, it's true. Putin started everything. But all of us, I mean, the political leadership failed the people who are expecting peace and prosperity, not uh, war and economic crisis. Okay. Mr. Ponte, thank you very much. Thank you very much.